inequalities. So these equations have variables on both sides, which is not a seventh grade topic, so that's my mistake. However, I am going to have you rewrite them so that you can solve them on your own or with the help of your notes. So this first equation says x plus 13 equals 2x plus 7. I'm going to move my 2x over here, which means I'm making it negative. 1x minus 2x gives me negative x plus 13. Then I'm left with 7. This goes away. All you need to do is write this equation here. Ask no questions. Thank you. I'm going to bring the 3x over here. I have negative 20 equals 4x plus 20. Scratch this out. Down here, 3x minus 10 equals 5. Two x plus twenty-eight equals negative sixteen. Oops. X minus eight equals twenty. Thirteen equals x plus thirty. Scratch these out. on the other side, and I'll let you copy it once you're done writing these down. I have 2x minus 5, so I'm going to move this x over here, which leaves me with x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 2. 2x plus 15 is less than or equal to negative 5. Negative 10 is greater than or equal to 10x plus 20. Three x plus 20 is less than or equal to two. Negative six x plus six is greater than or equal to negative six. And negative 8x plus 12 is less than or equal to negative 20. Let me rewrite that. There we go. And then refer to your notes on how to solve those. There they are. Please write them down. All right, this section is on proportions and um, solving for the missing value. First question says, Davis finds oranges on sale, five, four dollar. How many oranges can he buy for three dollars and fifty cents? Five, four dollar. What is this called? It's a ratio or a rate. What's another way we can say a ratio or rate? 189 per dozen. What about gas? How much is gasoline right now? A lot. Well, how do they provide the prices for gasoline, guys? I need specific specifics. 259 for what? Per gallon. Thank you. If we're talking about um, other rates, what would be another example? What words would you hear? Per? What else? Huh? Not percentile, just per. Like um, somebody just said 259 per gallon. Miles per hour is another rate or ratio. But what other words besides per would we hear with rates and ratios? To each, good. For what? Oh, yeah, five, four dollar. But what else? Hmm? 
Still not going. No, words, guys, words. What key words tell us that something is a rate? Okay, back to Davis. How many oranges can he buy for 350? This is the unknown. And this is how much they're spending. What do I need to make? Proportion box. What goes in the box? What are the things that are going in the box? The things. You're giving me numbers. Five what? Oranges? And dollars. How many oranges do I know about that go with some dollars? Five and one. What do I not know about? No, nope. what do I not know? I don't know the number of oranges and the $3.50 part. How do I solve? Cross multiply and divide. Five times 3.50. Divided by 1, which is just 5 times 3.5, because anything divided by 1 is itself. Anything times 1 is itself as well. You need to solve this. Just because I write the equal sign doesn't mean I am done. I am done showing you how to do it. Now you need to do the rest. That is what I was saying the other day. You need to make sure that you are writing right now, because I'm about to move on. Carson finds a sweater on sale. What does on sale mean? What operation am I doing? Subtracting. It's a discount for 30% off. This is my discount. If the original price of the sweater is $48, how much money will she spend on the sweater? Okay, Carson's a girl. And if she's taking 30% off, what's my whole price? Or my, what percent am I paying for a full price? Listen, what am I paying for a full price? A hundred. If I take 30 off, then it'll be 70%. She will pay 70%. What do I need to do to solve this problem? A proportion box. Good. Come up here because I don't have enough room down there. This is Carson. I need a proportion box. What goes in it? Okay, what percent? Do I need the 30 anymore? I took the 30 away. So what do I put in my proportion box? 70 over 100. Okay, this is percent. And then what is 48? Where does the original price go? At the bottom. Good. And then X. Cross multiply and divide. Okay. Farmer Dan has 14 chickens for every. What kind of words are those? What words tell me that it's a ratio? Four. Not for every. If he has 98 chickens, how many cows should he have? What do I need to make? What are the things that I have? Cows and chickens. How many cows? Three for every 14, so three out of 14. And what else did they give me? 98 what? So I have to put the 98 with the chickens, and what goes here? X. X. Cross multiply and divide to solve. Okay, moving on to Hannah. Hannah has a photograph she needs to enlarge. The original figure is three and a half inches wide. Original and four inches in length. What will be the new width? New width, who this? If the length is increased to 12 inches. So I have a width and a length, and that makes a what? Uh, area. It does make an area, but 
what are we talking about in terms of solving proportions? It makes a ratio. Who to whom? The length to the width. So I don't have room down here. Come up to the top. Let's write about Hannah. Length to width. What's my length? Four. What's my width? 3.5. Thank you for telling me the decimal form. I don't really like working with fractions, so I know y'all don't either. What are they asking me for a new of? Pay attention. So the length is 12, and I need to know the width. Cross multiply and divide. Okay? All right. Now let's look at the similar shapes. This is the same concept, except I have to make sure that things correspond. Please write correspond here. Correspond, same whoops, place, but different location. So who's this partner over here? Well, yes, they're similar triangles. So who's X's partner on this little triangle? 15, they're in the same place. So that's part of my proportion right there. X goes with 15. Let me start writing that down before I forget. X and 15, okay? Now, what other number do I have over here with X? Don't look at Y, don't look at the angles, because I'm not talking about that till eighth grade. I really want the measurement. So what other measurement goes with X on the same shape? 15 again. So we'll put 15, and this is the big triangle up top. And this is the little triangle down here. Who matches with the 15 over here? No, no, no. 10. Okay, X with this 15, 15 with this 10. Do you see how they match? They're in the same place, but different, different places. Or, I'm sorry, same place, but different location. That doesn't make sense, Miss Darling. Different shape. Change location to shape so that makes more sense and so that I'm not sounding like an idiot. Same place, different shape. So it's the same position, same position, but other shape. Same position, same position, but other shape. And then I need what number to go here? See if you remembered. 10. 10, good. Cross multiply, then divide. 15 times 15. Do y'all remember the trick that I taught y'all? With numbers that both end in five and you're squaring them, what's five times five? 25, write the 25 and then multiply one by whom? Nope. By two. Good. You multiply it by one more than what this number is. So one times two is two. So this ends up being 225 divided by 10. If you're dividing by 10, there's another trick there. Where do I move my decimal? One time where? Good. 22.5. One time to the left. Okay. Scale factor, new, over original, simplify.